The Invisible Man is a 2020 science fiction horror film written and directed by Leia Wanrell, a contemporary adaptation of the novel of the same name by H.G. Wells and a reboot of the Invisible Man film series of the 1930s. What's good? It's a boy dude reviews and I've just watched a new film starring Elizabeth Mossin and what's it about? Well, follows the a woman played by Elizabeth Moss after the apparent suicide of her abusive and wealthy boyfriend and she believes he she is being stalked by him she ultimately deduces that he has acquired the ability to become invisible and sets out to investigate whether he's invisible or is he a ghost and the film obviously stars Elizabeth, Elizabeth Moss, Aldis Hodge, Storm Reid, Harriet Dyer, Michael Dorman and Olivia Oliver Jackson Cohen and it is an international co-production of the US and Australia. The development of the new Invisible Man film began as early as 2007 and the project was revived as part of Universal Shared Cinematic Universe in 2016, intended to consist of their classic monsters with Johnny Depp attached to star in the title role and um, because of that um, failure of the mummy and in early 2019 the studio changed their plans for a serialized universe to films based on individualized storytelling and the project um, re-entered development and principal photography lasted from July to September 2019 in Sydney, Australia and the film was theoretically released in the US on February 28, 2020 by Universal Pictures and received positive reviews from critics who praised Elizabeth Moss's performance, its inventive modernization of the novel's plot and the combination of scares with a smart narrative about how women can be manipulated and abused in harmful relationships. And what do I think about this film? Well, I haven't really like watched any of like the other Universal movies um of this like um type of um cinematic universe. Like okay, I saw the mummy but I don't remember anything from it. So yeah, I went into this film not knowing anything about it and I didn't read the plot, I didn't watch the trailers and I feel like you have to go into all movies and um like just not know what to expect and I was really surprised and really chuffed by this film it's an amazing film let's talk about the good and for a horror film it really 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 is it's scary but it's not your typical horror film with like a lot of jump scares and like a lot of loud stuff like a lot of loud noises it's very like eerie in a way like it's a very cla- it's one of those like it reminds me of those like late 90s horror films like the sixth sense in a way um where it doesn't have too many like jump scares it has the scares are more subtle and they happen kind of in front of you and it's like oh shoot like a character is talking to someone else and then something terrifying is happening while they're in the moment like there's a scene when um a character's in a restaurant talking to someone else and this knife just kind of like lifts up while they're talking and it slices a certain character and it's really really unexpected and it just kind of like it leaves you just like in disbelief and just like whoa that <laughs> that was really unexpected and I really like the pacing of this film for a two hours and five minute film. I was like dreading, oh, it's going to be a bit long. But nah, this film breezed by it. It was a, it was a breeze, this film. It just flowed so nicely and it was really great. Um, The whole concept with like Elizabeth Moss's character being abused by her boyfriend. And then I, I like how like, you know, no one believes her and she's like going crazy. But and how everyone thinks that how she's been abused and how it's just affected her and ah, uh, you just really want this character to win in the end you know and there are times when you think that this character is done for but she really you know gets out on top and she really takes you know charge and just she's just really great and cool you know her acting is phenomenal and you really believe like she you can really feel her pain and just like her just her fear of what she's seeing and knowing that she's really telling the truth <laughs> and you just you just want her to just win you know and um, there's a lot of twists and turns with this film which I wasn't expecting and I really did like that and just the way it's just all 
it the film has moments where it makes you feel safe because it, it has a lot of lighthearted moments like a lot of nice family moments and then it just cuts to just very dramatic dark stuff and it just you forget you're watching a horror film at times and I feel like the director did this on purpose to make the audience feel really safe and then for it to like just go wrong like this character the safest she is in this entire film is with this family and just being like not feeling safe in the most safest place you know she's known in a long time it, it, it's really it's kind of terrifying and just oh this film is great and all but um like because this film has been released for like two weeks i don't want to spoil it too heavily but in terms of the negatives it's it does lead to spoilers but i will tell i'll talk about it without spoiling it now there's certain reveals towards the end which don't really add up where a character where it's revealed that a character did something and the explanation to how they did it is really kind of confusing in a way and not confusing but there's a lot of plot holes in this and just like the whole concept of this film is like being stalked and all that lot and you know being worried that um you know people are looking and spying on you like there's a scene where the main character is like wiping like blocking a security camera not a security camera a webcam on her laptop with like nail varnish i think it is and what i don't get with this is that there are moments in this film where there's bound to be a lot of like security cameras but for some strange reason people don't believe this woman and there are moments when the camera the invisible man does things like where he's he does it in public like it's, it's very public about it and i'm just wondering isn't there a security camera that would pick it up like if she's telling the truth wouldn't they run through the security cameras and frame it frame by frame and be like oh shoot there's a knife floating in the air just before and it just it really leaves me like feeling that they just they didn't really write that well like they, i definitely really ugh, it, it's really stupid because we're living in 2020 and there's a lot of security cameras and oh yeah that really did bother me watching it but apart from that this film is flipping amazing it's very terrifying but very very like it's scary but it's really it's really engrossing like when you're watching it, I'm kind of addicted to it because it's like, I want to know what happens next and then I don't know what's going to happen and it's just so spooky and mysterious and it's like, oh my gosh, this is... It goes in directions that I don't really expect it to and then the ending is like, what? Okay, I didn't see that coming and yeah, um, just check it out, my dudes and do this. I highly recommend this film. I'm going to give it a... 8 out of 10, I'm going to give it a... I'll give it an A minus, you know, just because it was the first horror film in a while that really interested me, you know. And yeah, <laughs> go check it out, my dudes and do that. But thank you for watching this review. Please like and share this video and comment down below and tell me what's your favorite horror flick. With that said, thank you for watching. As always, Boy Do the Review signing out.